Howdy everyone, Prairie Ranger here, and today in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Spicker C8 Aileron in the Crew 2. It's uh, the all-in edition of the Spicker. It's uh, kind of cool, it's like a uh, go goldish kind of color and uh, white. I think it looks really cool. It's honestly uh, one of my favorite um, special edition cars that they've added to the crew too, honestly. I just really love the design for some reason. It's really nice. And you can get this car simply by doing the uh, latest story. I think it's called The Hustler. So yeah, let's take this car for a little test drive stock and then uh, drive it souped up and uh, see how it is. So far, it seems to be pretty good. Well, obviously it's slow. I think we'll probably get maybe to about 190 uh, maxed out. We got up the speed here. Yeah, I really like the way this car looks. The spoiler and the rims and the vents. It's very airplane inspired. Which is fitting because that's actually where you get it. You get it at the um, the green airplane. I think it's like up here actually. I think it's like this one, or well, I think it's actually on the south side, somewhere around here, uh, in the aircraft cemetery. Anyways, it's pretty good so far. But let's, let's see if we can get any customization options on this thing. We'll first uh, swap the performance of the car. I think I have a nitro chemist here in. Where is it? Oh, yeah. It's the in my Evo. There we go. And customization, probably. Yeah, only get the livery, but I really love the stock livery of this car, so we're just going to keep it. Uh. Rims. I think white walls kind of look neat. And gold. Yeah, we'll actually go gold brush. Ice boost and. Uh, collector. I always like the swooshy one, I just think it looks really great. So let's take this speaker for a test, and what better uh, track than my favorite one, or the one that I always seem to go on, which is, I think it's this one, actually. No. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's this one, I think. Not that one. Do -do oh yeah, here. It's, I was hiding under the massive amounts of... I think it's... Uh, I can't find it, actually. Well, you know what? When in doubt, yeah, Central Woods to Am Central Woods to Amarillo, and yeah, let's stick that. This is my track. I think it's always snowing when I do this, which will be interesting to see how this car handles that. It's certainly look in place. Yeah, when I got this car. Seeing in the preview doesn't really do it justice. Now that I have it, it like looks really cool. What? I think the, what the little light on the front is actually like red, which is a nice addition. Nice touch. Ooh. It's got good launch. Those cars are stock. 
I personally am a big fan of Spicker cars in general. I like the uh, C12 Zagato and the Piking to Paris uh, car. Or no, it's a uh, Piking to Paris car. It's like the big SUV kind of thing. It's like got the glass roof. Yeah, cool. That's, although that's pretty much to describe any car, pretty much. I wish they'd add the Prele Preliator or whatever it's called, the new newer one. But yeah, this car, it's going pretty fast. Got a 220. It's not crazy high compared to some other cars, but it seems to drive pretty good at least. Maybe a tad understeering. But other than that, very good. Whew, had a little bit of a bad line there. We're already on 40%. I think the best car in terms of time that we've had on this was the Q60 Project S Black. Well, that car didn't really feel fast. Like, maybe it did. I don't remember. I remember I had some quirk about it. I think it was maybe understeer? I don't know. But I'm glad we're uh, seeing some special edition cars in the crew too. Like I know a lot of people aren't big fans of them, but I for one kind of like them. Especially we had the Plymouth, uh, like low rider, which was it's actually like a a different, a new car in the sense that it's a second real, like unique low rider with low rider like hydraulics. I'm loving this car. I really like the look of it. it kind of looks a little like the height is raised compared to the standard. It looks to me, which just like rides high, which is really cool to me. And spoiler. It's very airplane-esque. It really plays off the whole fact that Spicker is a airplane, or was an airplane manufacturer. Oh, we're coming up to here. Last little bit. What sort of time can we get? Can we get under three minutes? I think we were hitting 310 or something in the Infinity, but I could be wrong. So, if I'm right, we can get really fast. It was 305. Anyway, across the line, 304. How does that compare? It's either like 248. Well, that was actually a, a new vest for me, which <laughs> I'm shocked at. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that'll be it for this video, I think. Uh, this uh, is definitely a very good car. Uh, if you're a fan of Spicker cars in general, or uh, you like airplanes, or uh, just want to drive a nice supercar, or just want a free car, uh, it's definitely worth the 12-step process, including the fact that most of the uh, steps you could actually use an airplane. Although there were a few that you had to drive a car. So that actually made it really easy. But yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. If you did enjoy that grill and that like button, subscribe if you wish, and uh, let me know down below what your opinion on this car is. I, for one, think it's one of my favorite uh, special editions yet. Anyways, that's been this has been Prairie Ranger. Over and out.